ask me anything by Brainology. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? And here's again a warm welcome to everybody and all the children on Ask Me Anything. Warm welcome to you, Ma'am Rupa Pai. Okay, so very warm welcome, ma'am. So children, you know what? Rupa ma'am is a computer engineer. She is a journalist and an author. So one thing is that you don't have to be one thing in life. You can be so many different things, all being one person. And we will hear more from her. The book, which we will discuss today, which is the backdrop of mine, the Kings of Kings, Krishna Devaraya. So a warm welcome to you, Rupa ma'am. Welcome onto the show. Thank you. Thank you, Anupam. Thank you, Brainology. Yes, ma'am. Rupa ma'am will take us through inside her book, right? She will tell us what this book is about, how she's written those characters, and a lot more about the Vijayanagar kingdom and the place called Hampi. I think the questions yeah. I think Navya had was which was the magazine you got inspired by? Yeah. Target. It was Target. called Target magazine. Target magazine, children. I think somebody was asking Target. Uh, and and I think one more question which came from Ashwarya. I think she was asking, ma'am, what is so? What is the most important thing that led you to write? So there was no one point of inspiration. I think I've always wanted to express myself through writing. Whenever I went out and went for a family trip, I'd come back and write a little note about it. I'll write a little diary about it. But writing words have always been my thing. I always wanted to express myself in writing. There are only two tips I have for any aspiring writer. The first one is read, read, read. And the second one is write, write, write. Over to you, Rupa, ma'am. She will actually take you through her book and take you through the story that King of King Krishna Devara has. So, yeah, this is my book. I mean, it's the cover is right there behind Anupam, so you've seen it. This is the story of Krishna Devaraya. So, I really love history. So, I had to write about Krishna Devaraya because Hampi to me feels like a spiritual place because there is something very special, very alive about the rocks of Hampi. And it began in 1336. The dynasty, the Vijayanagara dynasty, was founded by a pair of brothers called Harihara and Bukka under the guidance of their Guru Vidyaranya. But the story goes that, you know, there were sage Vidyaranya. He said, like, we have to mount a defense that where aggressors are coming in from the north. So he groomed these two young men. They were his students, his disciples. And one day they went to a newer place that day, a place that they hadn't been to earlier. And there they saw a hare, a hare means like a rabbit, chasing their hounds. Their hounds went after the hare and they came back. The hounds came back squealing with their tails between their legs in pure terror. They said, what is this strange thing? How can a rabbit scare away our fine hounds? And they said, uh, Guruji, we have seen something very strange. Is it an omen? What is it? And the Guruji said, this is is a sign, Harihara and Bukka. They were also, you know, affectionately called Hakka Bukka. So Hakka and Bukka, this is a sign. This little rabbit, which is us, which is you, you know, small chieftains, can actually growl and chase away the aggressor from the north. So this is Virabhumi, heroic ground. This is where you should establish a new dynasty for yourself called Vijayanagara, the city of victory. Okay, so that's the story of how Vijayanagara was established in 1336, but it rose to its highest, highest peak uh, under this king called Krishna Devaraya, who ruled between 1509 and 1529. Okay, so this is the story of Krishna Devaraya. So a lot of it is true. I mean, the setting and the hist historical stuff is all true because Hampi means such a lot to me and I feel that atmosphere and I wanted all the readers to feel that atmosphere as well. What I did was I created a daughter for Krishna Devaraya because, you know, it was very, very funny. Historical fact, when I went to research, I found that there's precious little, there's very little historical data about who Krishna Devaraya was where he came from, how did he become king, and uh, you know how he ruled, we know. But about his early life, we know very, very little. So this is not the kind of quiz question that uh, you can get in one shot, but let me see. What is the connection between Hampi and a teardrop-shaped island that is you, that we can find to the southeast? Mm, let's break this into a simpler question. First answer, which is the teardrop shaped island which is there under our country? Yes, yes Misty has right. got it, Avani has got it, Sri Lanka. Everybody has got that answer. Sri Lanka is the right. Now answer ma'am's question. What is the connection between Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka and, and Ampi? Tamil. Uh, no, actually uh, the, the language of uh, Krishnadevaraya and Hampi and Vijayanagar was Kannada and Telugu. So Bridge. Mm, 
Ahan Ahan says bridge. No, no, not the, not Canada. No, no, no. There is no, Canada is not there in Sri Lanka. No, so much. I mean, there must yeah. be a few. No, I'll tell you. I'll Ramayana. tell you what. Misty yes, saying Ramayana. Yes, that's right. That is right. The Ramayana is the actual connection between uh, Hampi and uh, Sri Lanka. But in what way? How is the Misty. Ramayana connect these two? Misty, tell Basically, us how is the how is the Ramayana connect? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Yeah. Basically, Hampi travel. <laughs> Rama traveled via Hampi. He did, but I wanted a more specific answer. So Hampi is the legendary site of Kishkinda. So the ancient site of Kishkinda then became Vijayanagara. So it's a sacred spot. That is why the hare was chasing the hound. It was a very. It's a very special spot. So someone is asking: Was Hanuman born in Hampi? Yes, there is a hill there called the Anjanadri Hill, and Anjana is Hanuman's mum, so he is supposed to have been born on that hill. So, so yeah. Let me let me ask one question to the children. Ma'am. Children, do you know which state is Hampi in? Yes, yeah. Avani is right. Karnataka, correct. Karnataka, yes. Everybody, Karnataka is the place. If you are in Karnataka, do you know where it is? From Bangalore, do you know how far is Hampi? It's a little tough question. Okay, let me ask. No, <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> Two kilometers? No, it is four four hundred kilometers uh, from Bangalore. Okay, so you have to take a route. It's in a district close to Bellary, and it's a beautiful place. Okay, let's go to the next question. How are Amir Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, and hundred rupee note connected to Hampi? So it has something to do with this. So, uh, Come on, guys, what guess, is guess. What is this emblem? emblem? The emblem of the country. Where was it found? On top of a on top of sachi the, sachi the, super yeah so it it's found there and it's become the emblem of our country what is inscribed on the bottom of this lion capital this is called the li- three lion capital yes exactly satyam navya navya is correct yeah, satyam navya satyam navya now can you tell me what is the connection to amir khan yeah i got it <laughs> he used to anchor a show called satyam navya jayate right what is the yeah. connection to sharukh khan Yes, the Ashoka film, right? So Shah Rukh was Ashoka in that film, and uh, the hundred rupee note connection, of course, because that emblem is there on everything. What is the connection to Hampi then? The southernmost point where an edict of Ashoka, uh, something inscribed, rock edicts. You know, he used to leave his messages for his people on rocks, and the southernmost point where a rock edict was found in India was at Hampi. So that's the connection between uh, Shah Rukh Khan, Amir Khan, a hundred rupee note, and Hampi. Now. What is the connection between Hampi and Kung Fu Panda? That's an interesting question. What's the connection between Kung Fu Panda and Hampi? Okay, shall I answer? Ah, uh, bamboo growth bears. Okay, interesting answers. Very bears good. is a very good answer actually because there are a lot many bears. There's a Daroji Bear Sanctuary also near Hampi, but that's not actually what I was thinking of when I asked this question. If I if I'm if I'm going to ask what's the connection between Hampi and Kung Fu Panda, the answer won't be pandas. That's too simple. I won't be asking that. No, <laughs> bamboo. No, bamboo is in China. I'll tell you what the what the answer is. Kung Fu Panda was set in which country? Come on, guys, type that. Ah, China. Yes, Mr. China. Market, China. China. Yes. <laughs> What is the capital of China? Beijing. 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 Everybody is answering. Beijing. Right. So that's good. In the 16th century, which was the biggest city in the world or biggest cluster in the world by way of population? Beijing. That's right. And which was the second biggest city in terms of population and size? Vijayanagara, Hampi. So that's the connection between Hampi and Kung Fu Panda. Biggest city that time was in 16th century was Beijing, and the second biggest city was Vijayanagara. In the world, in the world was Hampi. You know, children. Actually, you know, one very famous character of Krishna Devaraya's court, which you all must have heard about. He was like, you know, like Birbal was very intelligent and. Tenali Rama. Exactly. Correct. Ahan. Ahan is correct. Ahan is right. Tenali Rama. So Tenali Rama actually comes from Krishna Deva Raya's court. So this is the same king who had Tenali Rama. He was the same king who ruled over Vijayanagar and the same king who built such a big kingdom. And his granddaughter story is what we, uh, you know, sort of hear. Who was the other great poet in the Vijayanagar court apart from the Ashtadik Gajas? King Krishna Deva Raya. Yes, <laughs> Krishna Deva Raya himself. He's written this masterpiece of Telugu literature called the Amukta Malayada. Okay, next question. What is the connection between Hampi and Pav Bhaji? Now you know how my questions go, so you should be able to guess perhaps this answer. Does Pav Bhaji come from there? No. No. <laughs> But that's a good answer because you know French fries actually come from Belgium. They're actually Belgian fries, and Rasgulla is like fully. 
debated whether it comes from Bengal or Orissa. But no, Pav Bhaji didn't come from Hampi. But what else? When when you say Pav Bhaji, which city comes to mind? Mumbai. Mumbai. And which is the richest city in India today? Mumbai. Mumbai. Now what's the connection between Hampi and Pav Bhaji? Jainagar, uh, Hampi was rich that time and Mumbai yeah. right now. Yes, in the 16th century, the richest city in India was Hampi. Now, uh, even more interesting one. What is the connection between Hampi and Chilli Bajjis? Mm -hmm. Chilli Bajjis. Mm -hmm. Chilli Bajjis. Mm -hmm. so spicy, pakode. Ones, pakode. Pakode. Well, the the famous for <laughs> What's the connection between Chilli Bajjis? It's a little complex. Chilli Bajjis and Hampi. The thing, the connection is in Krishna Dev. When Krishna Devaraya was ruling Hampi, it was he probably favorite. had never had a chili bhaji in his life. And not only Krishna Devaraya, but perhaps no one in India had ever eaten any chili in their whole life. Can you imagine that? As recently as 1509, just about 450 years ago, nobody in India had seen or eaten a chili. Or but seeds, why? Or tomatoes. Or why? potatoes. Guess why? Where do chilies come from originally? Brazil? No. Mexico? Shimla? Yes. Uh, Mexico, Central America. Okay. Uh, so who brought them back? Slowly when Vasco da Gama, 1497, the Portuguese sailor, found the sea route to India, with about 20 years later with him, chilies came into India. And now we cannot have a single Indian meal without some kind of chili or chili powder in it. And isn't it amazing? But if you look at the recipes of Hampi, of the Vijayanagar Empire, they're all those recipes only use what to spice up? The, we've always loved our spice. But what did we use to spice up dishes at that time? Turmeric. Black pepper. 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 Black, black pepper. Black pepper. Malabar. Black pepper. Black pepper. Worth its weight in gold. It was called black gold. People used to pay, black from gold. Europe, used to pay so much money for it pepper that it was called black gold yeah so that's the connection between humpy and chili bhaji mm -hmm. so what is the connection between humpy and roshogola did the vijayanagar king capture west bengal he captured orissa but not west bengal no that's not the connection or but mainly as Ras are um, um, connected with which state west bengal right uh, which is the biggest yeah. festival of west bengal Durga Puja. Durga Puja, right? Mm -hmm. What is called Durga Puja in West Bengal? What is it called in the south or in the north of India? Navaratri is one, one name for it. In the south, closer to Hampi, what's it called? The most famous, the, the, that, that particular festival, that 10-day festival mm -hmm. celebrated in one particular state, princely state in the south, attracts... Dasera. From Dasera, exactly. Dasara mm -hmm. and which which princely state celebrates it with the greatest pomp and show in South India? Karnataka. Which city? Bangalore. Mysore. Mysore. So the Mysore Dasara is really, really famous, right? But do you know where it first originated, the Mysore Dasara? It wasn't called the Mysore Dasara. It was called the... Vijay Dashmi. Vijay Nagara Dasara. So Dasara continues now for about 450 years. It's an unbroken tradition in this part of the world where I live in Bangalore, around here. Right. Some questions from uh, the kids, okay? Tanish, you had a question. Yeah. Thank you for the lovely session. You're welcome. Though I had a doubt that I'm 10 years old, so I want to begin writing books. How should I start? Uh, with, a, with a pen and some paper. And if you have the story in your head, begin to write it. It's really as simple as that. There's really nothing more than that. And don't worry, sometimes, very often you'll get stuck in the middle of a story. You'll start off with great ambition and great passion and great excitement. But after the second page, you're like, mm, then I don't know what happens to the characters. Never mind. Abandon it. Start again. How many books have I written? About 27, 27 I think. Hello, I also like to write books, but they struggle in how to start a book and how to end it. Yeah, you start with some kind of at least some basic structure. If you're finding it difficult, start at least before you start writing, think of a beginning and an ending to the story. And the middle parts will get fleshed out as you go along. But if you know the end already, then you know what to work towards. 
And if you know the beginning, you know how to start. You know what helps? Actually, people, a lot of children, uh, first-time writers, they get stuck because they plan this massive story and they get stuck in the middle because they don't finish it. Instead, give give yourself a prompt and then say, I have half an hour to complete this story or I have one hour to complete this story. And it doesn't have to be a long story. It's not a book. Don't start with book. Just start with a story. And once you actually finish one story in one hour from beginning to end, the confidence you'll get will be amazing. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So Vaishnavi, Vaishnavi, ask your question. How do you get the inspiration to write the Krishna Deva Raya story or book? Because I love Hampi so much. I've gone there at least, I've gone, I don't know, 12 times, 14 times. I keep going there and every time I go, I try and go with a different set of people who haven't been to Hampi before so that they, I can watch Hampi work its magic on them. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, any other questions? Hi, um, can I say something? Sure, sure. sure. Okay, uh, um, I'm Shalini. Actually, I'm Avni's mom and my daughter. She's turned five last week. Okay. And um, I'm getting her to re- uh, read books about our culture. So I want to I want to know how do I start start off with because you know the most of the books that I could land on like you said were all about English or American yeah. writers so where do where do I start with her because I want her imagination to grow and I want her to think uh, with yeah. her reading sure so actually for five year olds there's I suggest that you check out the books by Tulika books yes. Tara books Pratham books. Yes. These are the publishers and Pratham is all online and free as well okay. and uh, you know free to download but also I think what might really also help is for you to read those stories and relate them to her because she's still very small she's still five so yes, she doesn't yes. really need to read them like you can have you can buy a picture book or whatever and then you read to her but you tell and then even without books just telling stories I think storytelling uh, just creates a great bond this the the picture Picture books can be the yeah story weaver exactly that's what I meant a Pratham book story weaver so okay. you can uh, uh, the, the pictures can just be a support to the story that you are saying yes obviously I mean I have to start with pictures but yeah. uh, um, uh, you know uh, the ma- the major th- concern that I have is uh, you know more the cul- culturally I want her to know more things because you know uh, we we sit and watch uh, Ramayan together we watch Sri mm. Krishna together but the you know uh, the imagination grows more with reading and that's what my experience has been mm-hmm. so um, I have seen some of your books I haven't read them right, uh, uh, as yet. I'm yet to get them. But uh, with with your collection, I feel that, you know, there is a lot of treasure for uh, young kids. Yeah, they have to be a little older though, I feel. My books of are course, not yeah, sure. they have to yeah. read them, but you know, even the illustrations do uh, leave a lot of impact. Yeah, so, sure. thank you. So, where do I where do I start with them? I mean, from your books, uh, I mean, I'm sure the other ones that you've recommended, I do have them on my mind. Yeah. But, uh, mm. if I want to use them. The illustrations also, you know, uh, yeah. leave a, a good impact on the child's uh, imagination as well. Sure. So, and I, I mean, and she will agree to reading around. them, of course. Okay. Yeah. Mastrakatha is still around. Then there are a lot of uh, children's Ramayanas and. Uh, Mahabharata's around. Thank Thanks. you, Rupa ma'am. It was a pleasure. It was really mind expanding. I'm sure the children also enjoyed it a lot. Uh, thank you for your time. Uh, thank you, children, for being such a patient audience and asking such intelligent questions. Yes, so, yes. Thank you very much, Rupa ma'am. Thank you once again and goodbye, all of you. Hello, I hope you liked this edition of Ask Me Anything. If you did, do show your love by pressing this like button over here. And if you have any comments and want to give us any feedback, press on this comment button and express your opinion. And if you absolutely love us and want to know when is our next edition of Ask Me Anything, press the subscribe button and till then keep thinking of questions so that you can ask me anything